Hello, this is differential equations. I'm going to be solving question number seven for the final review. Use Laplace transform to solve y double prime plus 4y equals sine 2t. Initial values being y zero is equal to zero, y prime zero equal to one. So first, I apply Laplace to both sides, as you can see here. And now I'm going to use a Laplace table to specifically transform um, these equations. But before that, I have to talk about 4y, which I just take out the 4 because it is a constant. And I'm going to leave it as is. For sine, as we can tell, b is going to be 2, as you can see. So it's going to be 2 over s squared plus 4. As you can see over here. Now for double prime, there we have to follow these set of equations. s squared y minus s f0. Ooh. These are initial values, so we're going to plug these in in a minute. And minus y prime, again, we're going to plug that in, in a minute. So, as you can tell right here, this converts into this right here. Plus 4ly equals 2 over s squared plus 4. Now, we apply the initial um, values. So it's going to be 0, so the s goes away because that is 0. And uh, y prime 0 is equal to 1, is right here, so that stays. And right here, I also want to point out that since ly and ly are both the same, we're just going to combine it like terms. So it's going to be s squared plus 4, this is where I got it, multiply by lapis y. Minus 1, and I'll look like this, add 1 to both sides, it should look like this. Now we're going to uh, divide by s squared plus 4 to apply to both sides. And it's going to look something like that. Now, now that we're here, we're going to want to actually find out what, these, what this is by taking away lapis. And how do we do that? By inverse lapis. So we apply inverse lapis to both sides. Now what we do is also apply again the table for this and this is what it should look like so okay so b is going to be uh two as we can tell because two two to the power of two is going to be four so it's going to be two and over here is going to be same thing two again but instead it's going to come out to this so seeing that seeing this we're going to apply these of course uh inverse lapis and lapis that place is going to cancel out, leaving us with y. So now, first step, this, this section right here. This is going to be equal to this. It's going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 2, sine 2t, sine 2t. So that is finished right there. Now over here, it's going to be 1 over b third to the third. So it's going to be equal to that. It's going to be sine 2, add that. This is a b, not a 6. Sorry about that. It's going to equal to that. Now... We have this. If you multiply 1 8 to everything over here, uh, what that's going to look like is this. All I did over here in order for it to combine like terms, I multiply this by 4, making this 4 over 8. So 4 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is going to be 5 over 8, correct? And then over here, we leave this alone, of course. Uh, the way we got 1 over 4 is, is going to be 1 over 8. Now 1 over 8 over multiplied by 2 is going to be 2 over 8, which is 1 over 4. And that gives us our final solution. All right, thank you. And I had a great semester. I really enjoyed these problems. And goodbye.